What's up? G4TV.com. Commander Phoenix Orion, Zulu Alien Nation, 13th chapter. About to go in the booth and spit it hot. Transmitting from the constellation of Orion. Commander Phoenix Orion. To X is up. Zulu Alien Nation, 13th chapter. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, come on, just got off the road with ICP Right now transmitting on G4 Tech TV You see me wide in the HD That's higher definition, I'm a frequency freak <laughs> Got a brand new style for every day in the week In the studio with my man Peace One of the originators of the free style We get wild, we pull your profile Uh, you rappers just like my child I'm old school, and I pull the tool I've been to the school of 360 degrees of knowledge, smoking my trees. <laughs> Never been to college, they ask how you do it. I stay focused, and we get you noticed. We got the entertainment, it's going down, son. I don't need to pack no gun, blast on rappers. I spray with the tongue, brat, brat, brat. Bang, you're done. A video game junkie. Come here, girl, let me spank your monkey. See me in the corner with my PSP. Rockin' in the knowledge, 720 degree That's 360 twice, you can get sliced Chillin' at the corner with my B5 rice And Marcy Projects, Brooklyn, bitch, stop I'm gon' rip my hood till I die <laughs> Yeah, it's your boy PXO, Future Slow, man I'm in here in the booth just having some fun right now, man Uh Vibin' to this track, a little freestyle, a little improvisation That's what's up There's this guy uh, in my neighborhood where I lived, from Brooklyn, from Brooklyn, New York. Marcy Projects grew up with, uh, you know, the likes of Jay Z, Big Daddy Kane, Mr. C, Just Ice. I remember Justice. I used to see him always walking when I was walking to school. Man, he was a big dude and stuff. Really, actually robbing people. Like, you know what I mean? Justice, Justice, a real cat. There's one guy in the projects. His name was uh, Slate. His name was Slate. He used to call himself Slate, real tall guy, played basketball. And one day me and my brother was in the Chinese food restaurant. Like every hood got a little Chinese restaurant right there. We got a pizza shop and a bodega on the corner. And so our local little Chinese restaurant we was in there one day. And Slate came in and started rapping about what he wanted and, and making fun of the guy. I was like just dying laughing. It was comical, but I was like, yo, he's making that up right now. And that had to be at least like in the that was like 1983 uh, my dad was a music collector he had uh, albums and stuff from blowfly and blowfly had this song called rap dirty where he was rapping like you know very vulgar and profanity and stuff like that but it was actually a rap you know a james brown rap and uh also the brother uh, sheikh suleiman el hadi from the last poets when you talk about freestyle and uh freestyling like what it is right now today I mean, it, it originated from the last poets in poetry, you know, like when Freestyle Fellowship out here in the West Coast, when they got a hold of it and, and kind of coined it, actually, and made it freestyle, what we know freestyle is today, improvisational, unwritten rhyme off the top of the dome, like right now, like just giving you a rhythm and a dope beat, you know, with your, with your words, not even really to a beat sometimes, just creating a beat, too, with the rhythm when you're spitting it, and, uh, I'm hitting it, uh, uh, I'm getting it, well, well, I mean, but originated from uh, some poetry. Last Poets, so actually I give credit to Last Poets, uh, Kington III, early rappers, you know, like uh, Grandmaster Cass, Cool Herc, who created hip hop, you know, shouts out too to my, to my hip hop elders, and uh, Bambada, Zulu Nation, uh, Jazzy J, uh, Red Alert, and these guys first started it, man, they, be, they, they began what we know today as hip hop, you know, to even be here in Freestyle 101, and talking about Freestyle 101, giving you lessons through the music, 